This video is going to be about the different ranges and options for hammer holders across Diamondback, Badger and Occidental Leather ranges. I'm going to be looking at each of these hammer holders in relation to the Martinez M1. It's the longest hammer that we sell and I've also looked at the one with the curved grip because some people are concerned that the curved grip may be a bit tricky to get in and out of the hammer holder. So we're going to look at each of those in relation to that. Starting with the Diamondback range. So initially Diamondback have two holders for tools which also have hammer loops on them. This is the Boss Man. So the Boss Man has small tool organisation, hook and loop closure which will fit round any three inch belt and then this rigid hammer holder on the front. So as you can see Martinez M1 goes in very easily, no issues at all with the curved handle. The next one they have is the wingman. So the wingman is adaptable in that you can use it as a hammer holder. As you can see, it's slightly more snug, but it does still fit the M1. It's not quite as smooth though as the boss man. There is an attachment at the back with the wingman where you can loop it round to have um, a closure on the bottom if you're looking to store something else in here, um, such as a you know, laser level or something. Um, and there are also pockets on the front here. So again, that's a hook and loop attachment. So this can hold an M1, but with a curved handle, it does stick a little bit. Then looking at the two independent hammer holders. So these hammer loops are designed not to hold any other tools other than the hammer. So they have the 405 and the 406. So the 405 is what they call the low rider. So it sits on the belt slightly lower down, again the hook and loop system, and then the hammer loops into the front. As you can see, it easily, there's no issues at all with the curved grip going in and out of there. Which does have a slightly thicker band, you'll notice, and it will sit in a higher point on the belt. Again, no problems at all with the curved grip going in and out of there. So moving on to Badger. So Badger have one style currently for the hammer loop. It is also a hook and loop closure system. So as you can see, this is quite substantial. That will go around about um, at three inches easily, probably four inches actually. So this has, again, it's a very rigid design. It's reinforced here as well. So it's gonna take a good bit of wear and tear. Um, and curved grip, absolutely fine on that one too. So that is the Badger Hammer Loop. This comes in a few different colours. It's gunmetal grey, sawdust sage and olive. Um, all of Diamondback comes in black and range of green. And then moving on to the Occidental options. So with Occidental, all of these attach to the belt in the same way. So it is a loop through system. So the belt will weave through on this one, which is the 5012. So this hammer holder is incredibly rigid. That is just not going anywhere, that panel. So put the M1 through, there's no problem at all. So this now comes down to personal preference. So you've got the metal ring on the Occidental hammer loops, which is some people's style. Some people prefer to have nylon, um, some prefer the metal range. Um, then looking at the other ones in the Occidental range, we have the 5520. So again, this is a tool holder. It's actually a five-in-one tool holder. It has a tool shield um, and a few pockets here and here, as well as along the front. And then again, it's the same size hammer loop, so no problem at all for M1. Next up, we have the 5059 which is the same hammer loop as on here. Um, it's obviously going to be no problem at all for holding an M1 there. And again, this is a loop through system. We have the 5020. So again, metal hammer holder. And then there is space for one extra tool here as well. So a small bit of tool organisation on there. The last style with the Occidental is what they call the no slap but some people prefer not to have the metal. This gives them an option of holding the hammer without as much movement as it kind of holds it in place by its handle. So this one is a tighter design. So you can get your M1 in there, your curved handle. 
but you do have to wriggle it a little bit. This will soften with time and it will become easier to use over time as leather does. Um, but just so you can see the difference in there, that is a little bit of a squeeze to get back out as well. I'm also going to show you the M4 with the straight handle too. So if you have an M4 with a straight handle and you want to use the 5518 Occidental Leather No Slap Hammer Holder, as you can see that went in a lot easier than the M1 which had the curved grip. So this is a straight grip on it, so that is a lot easier. So if you have a curved grip you're going to struggle a little bit more with this particular design when you start using it until it softens up quite a bit. The last thing to talk about is the hammer sleeve. So this is another way of holding your hammer holder, which I'm sure you will have seen. Um, it's central to the diamond back tool belt systems. So this particular hammer sleeve is actually a separate accessory you can add to any of the pouches that have eyelets on them. It's adjustable, so you can sort out the position as to where you want your hammer, whether you want it more angled and tucked away, or if you want it more to hand. And then this is a really wide opening at the top and bottom so it's going to easily fit in your curved handle without any issues and it keeps it nicely protected and tucked away so that's another option but cannot be used on its own it needs to be used in conjunction with one um, of the diamond back pouches for the system with the eyelets to attach it so then looking at how each of these attaches to these belts one thing that we're always keen to tell you about is the compatibility between different brands. Some people like a style of one brand over another, some people like mixing and matching. And it's up to you what you use because it's your tool belt setup, you need to wear it how it works for you. So with Occidental, the three inch belt, for example, you could use a low rider hammer loop. That will velcro around it and you can pop your hammer onto there. So that works absolutely fine. With the velcro hook and loop systems, you are generally going to get more stability in your attachments if they are attached to a velcro belt. So the way that Diamondback has designed these has velcro along the entire inside of this two inch belt webbing. So when you attach this accessory, it attaches here and then it attaches around the back. So you're really gonna get very little movement on that in comparison to if you had it on a leather belt. Badger has velcro panels here and here. So again, it's the hook and loop. So this one attaches on itself because of the size of the accessory. And if you wanted to attach a tall accessory with the hammer loop onto it, for example, we could pop it on the right side of this belt. So you can see the boss man can attach here to the velcro panel on this belt and it's going to restrict your range of movement of the pouch so it's staying more secure as you're using it. I hope that gives you a bit of an overview of the belt systems, the accessories that are available and their different fit styles um, with all of the Martinez range. <laughs>